We're in Salt Lake City with Ford for the all new Ranger. And this is the chief engineer of Ranger and he's going to walk us around this new truck. My name is Juan de Peña. I am the North America Ranger chief engineer and this is the all new for 2024 Ford Ranger. For 2024, we are giving our customers a power of choice. Uh, a good portion of Ford Ranger customers today, 76%, compared to the segment at 60%, were telling us that performance was important to them. And a, a top five reason for intenders who considered but rejected a Ranger in the past, performance was one of those reasons. So we heard our customers, performance, 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 that we've answered. Uh, we've redesigned the frame, plus two inches wider track, plus two inches longer wheelbase. We also packaged the rear dampers outboard that allowed us a wider tuning envelope to give the, the vehicle a better ride and handling laden and unladen conditions. But also in redesigning that frame, we were able to now package larger engines in the, in the vehicle. So the starting base engine is a 2.3 liter EcoBoost 4 with 270 horsepower, 310 pound-feet of torque. The step-up engine now is a 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 with 315 horsepower, 400 pound-feet of torque, significant walk up. And then, new for 2024, now we have a Ford Ranger Raptor. And that has a three liter EcoBoost V6 with 405 horsepower, 430 pound-feet of torque. So, a lot of performance, uh, but all new exterior, a lot of capability, 7,500 pounds of max towing capacity, and uh, 1,805 pounds of payload. So pretty significant uh, numbers for a mid-size pickup. This is the same 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 that's found in the F-150 Bigger Brother today and the Bronco as well. It's tuned closer to the F-150 for a pickup truck application versus you know a desert runner Bronco type of uh, tuning. So the calibrations are different, the mass is a different, so you gotta account for that. But also a, a truck user is, you know, it's, a, it's more of a, of a balance between you know uh, daily driving and work. So the 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 tip and response of the engine is going to be different more like for a truck than for an SUV. The Ford Ranger and the Ford Bronco are stable mates. They're both assembled in Michigan assembly plant. They both are off the same platform. They have a common platform, so they share a lot. From the base of the A pillar forward in the underbody, uh, I'm going to say it's millimeter differences. The Bronco is wider than the base Ranger. Ranger Raptor is wider than a Bronco, and then a Bronco Raptor is even wider than a Ranger Raptor. So it's, a, it's an interesting walk, but same uh, platform. The Ford Ranger is the F-150 of the world. Uh, we assemble it in five assembly plants globally, two in Thailand, one in South Africa, one in Pacheco, Argentina, and then one here obviously in the US uh, Michigan assembly plant. Uh, this new Ranger right now, it's doing so well that it's currently the number one vehicle in sales in Australia and New Zealand, first time in 28 years, and in, it's also the number one selling truck in Europe. So it's doing quite well, and uh, uh, we have high hopes for it. In terms of, of uh, the series walk, the, the startup series is the XL with an STX package as standard, and the next level up is XLT, and then the next level up to that is Lariat, and then ultimately all the way at the top is the Ranger Raptor. Uh, in terms of differences on the face of the vehicle, uh, this has uh, LED reflector headlamps, which are uh, standard on XL and XLT. When you go to a Lariat and a Raptor, they are LED projector lamps, so you guys will actually see that they're little projectors top and bottom, uh, but they're very similar in design. In terms of, of redesigning the vehicle, we really wanted to have a closer resemblance to the stable mates, right? Maverick was, was, uh, was already uh, there, F-150, Super Duty. There's a tie-in, right, a, a Ford look, a Ford face. And so you clearly you see the Ford Oval at the center, that ribbon that cuts through the C-clamp uh, headlamps. That's, you know, classic signature that Ford started that design years back. Uh, in terms of differences between the series, we usually tend to differentiate with the center grille itself, uh, the headlamps, as I, as I mentioned earlier, and also with the, with the painting on the lower bash panel and on fog lamps as well. That's kind of, we sort of mix and match with different colors, and that's how we differentiate between the different series. On the side of the vehicle, uh, we differentiate usually with uh, different color selections on the wheel lip moldings. We always have a, a front a fender badge which shows the series level. On some of them we have painted skull caps or molded in color black or chrome. We have a chrome package as well. 
We also, on some, on some units, uh, have chrome handles or body colored handles. And on some units, we also have uh, uh, running boards as well. Uh, the running boards can be molded in color black or chrome. And then towards the rear of the vehicle, uh, following a similar sort of approach, the wheel molding same as the front, the, the cap on the, on the bed rail is always gonna be molded in color black. At the rear of the vehicle, the bumper, uh, these, these outer uh, portions are actually uh, painted. On some, they're chrome. On this one, as you can see, it's painted kind of like a powder, a powder uh, gray. Uh, and on some units, it's actually body colored. So, and lastly, the box sidesteps. All new for 2024. Unlike some of the competitors and how they execute their uh, box side steps, they tend to have them in the rear bumper. So it's a little bit of a shallow opening. And if you imagine yourself working on a truck and you might have boots on, you could barely get one foot in. And then when you do step on it, your kitty corner in the box, so your reach is limited. Uh, with this new design, it actually holds up to 300 pounds. And in addition to holding 300 pounds, you could get two feet in and your reach is deeper into the box. So it's not just designing and throwing technology or features into the vehicles to check boxes. It's about the usability and the experience that the customer is gonna have with the product. This is a five foot bed crew cab configuration. For 2024, we're 100% crew cab and five foot bed. The reason why we did that was our customers were telling us that this is what they wanted the most. This is where what customers were purchasing the most. And we had to make a decision on either we engineered two versions and put a little bit less technology and features into them and capability, or we engineer once and throw everything into it and really maximize uh, uh, what we're gonna give the customers in terms of technology, features, capability, etc. So this is 100% the Ford Ranger what's available at a dealership. This is an actual XLT, and the XLT is our volume product uh, uh, out of the Ranger lineup. Uh, it's got cloth seats uh, uh, with good uh, uh, cleanability. You know, obviously it's a truck, so it's, as a work truck, uh, uh, you want your seats to be able to be easily cleaned. Uh, but still, if you look at the, at, the, at the IP itself, at the instrument panel, it's all new. Uh, the instrument cluster is either available in 8-inch or 12.4-inch digital cluster right in front of the steering wheel. And then at the center of the, of the instrument panel, you'll see the 12-inch portrait size uh, center display. Uh, it starts at a 10-inch and then it's uh, optional uh, available a 12-inch and it's 12 inches standard on Lariat and on Raptor. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we've got, I'm going to say, 30 plus uh, driver assist features available. I think my favorite is Pro Trailer Backup Assist, which has been available on Super Duty and F-150, the bigger brothers and the stable mate. And now it finally makes its way onto the midsize pickup truck on Tar Ranger. And Pro Trailer Backup Assist is a game changer. Uh, nobody has it, the competition does not have it, including the, the number one in the segment does not have it. And uh, I'm looking forward to you know, customers going to the dealer and trying to actually tow with Pro Trailer Backup Assist versus uh, towing without it. It's a very, very different experience. All right, a couple of things I want to show you in the back. Um, our customers were telling us that they, they, they need storage. So we, in a mid-size pickup truck, you got to have storage. Our door trim panels have storage on both sides where we maximized uh, for larger bottles. At the, at the back of the center console, we have storage just below the armrest. Um, if we lift the seat bottom, this store, secured storage, obviously, because it's covered on both sides. And this locks in place, as you can see. Uh, and if I put that down, what's new for 2024 is now it's a fold flat rear back seat as well. So you can have a, you know, if you carry your dog, your dog is not sitting back at an angle. Uh, but if you have a cooler, you can plug in your cooler into the 12, into the 120 volt uh, power port back here, or USB-C or USB-A. Uh, we also have new for 2024, a power sliding our rear window as well. We used to have a, you know, uh, no opening and then a manual opening, but now it's power as well. On higher series, we usually have a, a, a subwoofer that packages in this spot, so uh, we try to give up, you know, customers the best sound possible. But the interior is literally all new, all new fabrics, all new trim. Uh, the seat frames are new. We, a lot of new in this truck. All right, so why don't we end on the working end of the truck, the business end of the truck, the pickup box. The pickup box is 100% new. Um, I'm gonna start with the, 
dampened uh, tailgate. We spent a lot of time redesigning this tailgate to make sure that it was gonna be a, as much utility as a, as, as a working bench for our customers. We have uh, these clamp pockets, so you can actually you know, clamp down like you know, whatever you're working on. We have a measurement uh, a ruler uh, molded in. It's, uh, it's obviously got a spray-in bed liner. Uh, it is steel, all the, all the, the uh, box panels are steel. The box is now also four foot wide at the wheel wells, so you can actually carry full sheet of plywood, a drywall flat on the pickup box like it should be. Uh, we have six tie-down points, LED lights on both sides. We have 400 watts of power in the bed, uh, 12 volt on one side, 110, 120 volt on the other side. Um, uh, let me see, it's a, it's a steel tailgate, but it's not heavy. You can do it, you can lift it with one hand because we have torsion bars to assist on the way up. And we have a damper to assist on the way down so you don't get that violent drop that uh, some pickups get. Uh, but that is it. And as, at the rear, by the way, this is the largest Ford Oval we've ever had on a Ford Ranger. So super proud of the Ford brand, uh, but that's our baby. She's all new for 2024.